What's going on guys, this is the Lone Vault Wanderer and welcome to my Survivor 2299 website update concerning Fallout 4. This video is going to cover all of the updates that went down on the site on December 3rd and December 4th. So without further ado, let's get to the first update. Calling Black Row Outstation, reporting suspicious activity near secure location, the Institute. 1. Visual threat detected. 2. No three unknown humanoids, three miles northwest, over. 1. Vault Dweller. Two miles north, three unknown humans, three miles northwest, over. Calling Black Row, calling Black Row, report, day seven, on Harvard Bridge. People are scared. Last night we heard strange noises from the Institute. At the moment we see strange humans, distance two miles north. Something isn't right with that place, over. Alrighty, so from these Morse code messages, we're really starting to see the pieces fall together with regards to Fallout 4 in Boston. Now I've posted a map of Boston on the screen right now so you can have a look for yourself, but I have marked three important locations which have been coming up numerous times throughout the Morse codes and texts which have been posted on the Survivor site. Now the first thing to notice is that if you see on the far left screen right there, that is actually marking the Massachusetts Institute of Technology or better known as MIT. Now if you guys don't know, that is actually what the Institute was once known as. That is the exact same area, it's the exact same building, and what people are saying is that because there were people scouting supposedly in Boston that were scouting MIT, it seems that the institute is going to be residing there, that's going to be their main base and locations or base of operations in Fallout 4. Now if you were to come down a bit further, you'll see this bridge which is going across that water source. Now that's actually Harvard Bridge. And if you were to look at the titles of the MP3 audio files associated with the Morse codes that I just posted, they're actually entitled Broken Harvard Bridge. So that it's the exact same location, and obviously it's referring to how the Great War, you know, with its nuclear um, you know, missiles and all that, would have broken that bridge. So that's obviously the relevant connection there. And then if you go to the far right, that location is actually Merchant's Row, which has been referred to numerous times as Black Row. So all of these places have had slight name changes, which makes sense for, you know, a Fallout game. They usually do things like that. But all of these locations are located very, very close with one another. Now, in the last video, I said that Black Row was probably a an outpost for the Institute itself. Now, what these Morse code messages are suggesting to me, at least, is that Broken Harvard Bridge, likewise, is also an outpost for the Institute. Now, what's going on in these Morse code messages specifically is that, obviously, Broken Harvard Bridge has a clear line of sight towards MIT and the main building of the Institute. Now, they're obviously transmitting these distress signals, if you want to call them, back to Black Row, talking about how there are three undetected uh, threats which are approaching the main building, and also that the people are scared, we heard strange noises. So, obviously, something is going down at the Institute. Where specifically, we're not really sure, perhaps the same things that attacked Vault 119 are also now attacking the Institute. We're not too sure, but what I think the important thing is to note here is what all of this means with regards to the map of Fallout 4. I've always said that it's going to be a smaller rendition of the state of Massachusetts, but now we can really start to see how it might look like and how it's going to look as we walk through it. You've got the Institute or the MIT uh, area at the top, and then you have the Charles River Basin, which is probably going to be the main water source like Lake Mead with you know New Vegas and like the Potomac River with Fallout 3. And then you have the Broken Harvard Bridge, which is sprawling across the Charles River Basin. And then towards the right, you have Black Row or Mar Merchant's Row, sorry. So it's just nice to see what other landmarks might be included. If you were to have a look at the map yourself, maybe something you know you recognize could be in the map. Or, you know, just other important locations that we haven't really appreciated yet could be included in Fallout 4. So I think it's a really important thing just to take note of because this seems like a you know an important area of the map, particularly with regards to the main story of Fallout 4. What the fuck are you looking at, kiddo? Don't tell me you've never seen a gun before. Come on, move your ass. It's time to go. Where the fuck you came from? Alrighty, so I think this piece of text has a particular significance about it. If you look at the video that I just posted, I talk about how all of these Morse codes and all of these texts are kind of outlining what's going to be happening at the start of Fallout 4, in that you're the survivor, you're residing in Vault 119, and then this, you know, this monster or this unknown enemy is attacking the vault, and you and a small group of people are trying to escape, which you managed to do. Now, what seems to be going on here is somebody 
talking to the survivor, and it seems like you know the survivor is still a kid at this point, which seems consistent, you know, with character um, creation and all that. This person is talking to the survivor, saying, "Don't tell me you've never seen a gun before. Move your ass. It's time to go." As in, you know, this is monster. This is threat attacking the vault. We need to get out of here. And then he says, "Where the fuck you came from?" Which seems to suggest that maybe the survivor was never really somebody that was residing in the vault. Maybe they just managed to find their way to the vault as it was getting attacked. It's really inconspicuous as to what that means, but just generally, what I think this is referring to is this the events of this attack on the vault and you're trying to escape. So, you know, I think it's a strong possibility that this particular event is going to be experienced by us as the players when we play Fallout, 3, Fallout 4. Sorry. So we're going to be the survivor. There's going to be this massive raid on Vault 119. This particular person is telling us, what are you looking at? You know, we've got to get a move on. Let's go. Don't tell me you haven't seen a gun before. They're obviously trying to defend themselves they got a bunch of guns and then eventually they you know f free themselves from vault 119 and they emerge into the waste which is in the form of boston so i think this is what this means put your thoughts in the comments below as to what you might think all of these updates to these morse codes and these text ciphers actually mean this has been the lone vault wanderer guys and i'm sorry if this video seemed a bit rushed but i'm really tired at the moment but anyways please take care of yourselves and have a great night